Okay, this is the small controller, uh, which is basically an additional channel uh, to my radio. I don't have to have this hooked up to my radio. In fact, it's just a small transmitter and receiver uh, that controls the winch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unspool the winch as much as I can, and then hook it to the top of the door, and then I'm gonna use a button on here, to, which is really just to kinda wind the winch in, and we'll see how it does. I've never done this before. I may break the winch, but we might as well test it out and see if it actually does at least half of what it says it does. Here is the Warren winch on A main right here. You guys can go, I'll put some of this information in the video description box down below, but let's do something that's like super hard today. Something that I haven't seen done and it should be a deadlift of like a heavy truck. What a beauty. This thing is stated to have a 70 pound drag limit. Also being able to deadlift 50 pounds, which is huge because the cost of this winch is over $100. The scale likeness of this worn winch is amazing where you can actually have um, a, a freewheeling motion and of course a lock in there if you choose. I wanted to use it on my traction hobby RC. I got this at Asia Tees because this thing is a giant. Look at this and super, super heavy ever since I put in the wheel weights. This is the Arma Outcast or Outcast. This uh, trail crawler definitely makes it look quite small. And what I wanna do is just while I'm here, let's turn on my fish scale weight. So let this zero out, zeroing. Let's go over to the Cragsman with all the batteries in. This is heavier than normal because I've put in multiple batteries plus wheel weights. Let's have a look. Coming in at 13 pounds. So really, is that in pounds or kilograms? Yeah, pounds. 13 pounds for this giant rig, which is quite heavy guys. If you had to carry this out of the trail, uh, you'd be unhappy with that. But I do have a lot of wheel weight in there on purpose. I wanna see if this winch right here will be able to deadlift uh, this entire truck. And supposedly if it can deadlift 50 pounds, it should be able to deadlift the truck. But I wonder how long and how high. Now my goal is not to actually ruin uh, this winch right here. In fact, let me take off the, let me take off the body so you can have a look. This is the winch controller right here. It is a wireless winch. So the winch is wired into the controller which goes through to a BEC, which is a voltage regulator, which gets plugged right into the uh, 3S LiPo battery. So that there, and then you guys can't see, there's a separate battery back here that's actually allowing me, look at this, to run all the lights and everything on its own, and then just to have this separate unit. But I digress, let's go ahead and test the strength of this winch. Okay, just gonna go ahead and pick out one of these hook nails. Okay, this is no small door. It's quite a scale distance, if you will. The door is 10 feet in height. Hopefully I have enough winch line. I should have just enough, I believe, to make it to the top there. But no snatch block, nothing. Just gonna hook it up and see what we can do. Should be fun explaining to my wife why there's a set of tire prints going up my garage door. Here, look at I'm pushing this button here, right here, this first button on the left hand side to make it spool out. I could pull it if I wanted to, but I got a big 5003S LiPo, got plenty of power. No! 
Thought I would have had a good 10 feet on there, but not quite. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's just, just short. But you know what? I think I'm going to cheat and just lift it up a little bit like that because we're that close. A few inches off the ground, so I think that qualifies. Let me move this ladder. Okay, so I just want to show no tricks or nothing like that. There's the line going all the way down. Here's the truck lined up, ready to go. I have no idea, it might snap its gears right in the beginning, I don't know. I've got another camera over by the recycling pile there. Let's see if this works, guys. Okay, taking out my remote in three, two, one, good luck. Here we go, it's lifting it off. Sounds tired. Look at this. Totally deadlifting all that weight. <laughs> First time I've actually seen someone do like a super deadlift like this for one of these winches. I'm wondering how the heat is doing on it right now. Still sounds strong. Gonna move the camera in. Look at this, it's flipped right around. Amazing. Still going. Guys, check it out. There, if you wondered if your RC four wheel drive winch was worth the money, that big strong one, it took us all the way to the top. Letting it unstring. What do you think? I'm super happy, guys. And this is the biggest trail truck I have. It's like a monster truck size. Coming down nice and slow. That's a successful test, in my opinion. Can you imagine your full-size vehicle being lifted up like that? Hey, I didn't even get any tire marks on the door. <laughs> Still holding. Right back down to the ground. It did it. Super awesome. Amazing. Okay, well, I'm not gonna overstress it, guys. I know it can do it. Guys, leave a like, click, a comment if you're surprised. Do you actually own one of these winches yourself? Check out how huge this traction hobby Cragsman is. Look at this, even with wheel weights on the inside. Everything was done perfect. Okay, I'm gonna roll the rest of this line in. Since nothing is feeling hot, wanna make sure that I get a good wrap on this line through the fair lead. Um, plus, because it would have been wrapped very, very tightly, I wanna make sure to unstring all of this cable and then restring it again just so it's not so tight. Uh, or else next time I go to use it, it might be a problem. But there, everything is working perfect. Uh, that's what I like about this wireless system is that you really don't need an additional channel on the radio. It's just simply a matter of plugging it into your winch, into the controller, uh, and the controller into the battery power. So there, that's how you do it. I just want to go ahead and turn on this fish um, weight scale again. Because I know it has some mud on it. Won't be a whole heck of a lot, but I want to see what the difference was. So up it goes, 
13.8, 13.47, yeah, about 13.8. So that's quite a few pounds. Would I say it could lift 70 pounds? Maybe it could, not for a dur like a duration uh, or a longer amount of time. I don't know, I can't really speak. I'm not the one that made the, uh, the specs on it, but I can say for this giant crawler, if the tires were covered in mud and I was out on the trail, I'd be trusting this Warren Winch right here. Uh, and uh, no problem to get me out of, of wherever I need to be. So there you go. I'll put some uh, information in the video description box because uh, people always ask me about it. No, this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to answer some questions that I've always had about this winch as well. And so far, it passed the test. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Now get outside and go have some fun with RC. You know I always do. Bye for now.